Hey guys, so I have an Extreme Comforts pillow that I'm gonna unbox today. I'm really excited. Here we go. It comes rolled up like this, so we're gonna have to unroll it. I love popping these. I don't wanna pop them though, I could use them. Shield my laptop when I'm walking around or maybe put it under my shirt or something, you know? So if someone punches me, I'm a little protected. <laughs> It's rolled up in a little thing. So, we can toss this box down. Look at this. It's rolled up into this little thing. Very interesting. Adjustable thickness. Bamboo shredded memory foam pillow. I'm unwrapping it. I have to remove the outer wrapping and then pillow will appear flat as normal. Remove bag and place in dryer for 20 minutes. If you do not have dryer, allow pillow to sit for 20 minutes to adjust your room temperature. catalog you can register your warranty get 20% off your entire line okay that's how you know it's memory foam you see it's all flat now but it'll puff up soon yeah I have the pillow here now in its glory see it's much more puffed up now oh it's a different feeling so I'm gonna show you my current pillow I freaking love my current pillow this is the centripedic pillow and of course I have it in a wrap, but this is memory foam. The difference between this and that is that this is just softer the moment you lay on it. I'm on it right now and it, it just feels much softer. I'm not saying this is better, I'm just comparing. That's the pillow I use right now, this Centripedic Sensor Gel one. Initially it's a little harder, but then once it conforms to your head, it's much more comfortable. So I think what I'm gonna do that now is I'm just gonna test it. I'm gonna sleep tonight in this and see what happens. So just some initial thoughts. It's a very different feeling from the Centripedic that I usually use or the Sensor Gel. The other memory foam pillow I use is very comfortable by the way it's awesome whereas this extreme comfort pillow that I'm I just tried and then it felt like it gave a little it wasn't a memory foam type of resistance but it gave a poofy that's the right word to describe it it gave a poofy type of resistance back to my head so my head felt really comfortable in a different way than using the sensor gel doing that little test on there made me sleepy so let's go to sleep and I will talk to you guys tomorrow I ended up switching back to the sensor gel after a few minutes because I was just feeling my back yesterday. For those of you who don't know, 80% of the time I sleep on my back and 20% of the time I sleep on my side. So the pillow, the Extreme Comforts pillow is extremely good. Hey, see what I did there? It's extremely good for your side. But since I wasn't feeling the side sleeping, I had to go back to the Centripedic pillow. So. The other thing I want to test in the future, and this could be another video, is you can actually take out a little bit of the foam, etc., from the inside, from the pillow. So I might take out some of it and then try again to sleep on my back to see if it works. But as of this moment, the Extreme Comforts pillow that I reviewed is definitely good for the side. It probably is superior to the Centripedic, but since I sleep on my back, I'm going to go with the Centripedic still. Those are my final thoughts. And I welcome you guys, if you guys have ever tried this or whatever, to give me your thoughts. And I will put a link to the product, both of them, I guess, in the description. And I thank all of you. Seriously, I really thank all of you for watching this. And Extreme Comforts, thank you so much for sending me the product. I will review more of your stuff if you want. And for those of you watching, you spend, I think, a third of your life sleeping. So you better do it well because sleep is when your body learns. Sleep is when your body turns short-term memory into long-term memory. And it heals itself, etc. And if you can learn to lucid dream, you can go on adventures. But that's another story for another time. Either way, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Talk to you next time.